News. Now, a major update in a tragic child neglect case we've been following. Tonight, Jesse Franks and Felicia Adams Franks are behind bars in Stockton, California, one week after Vancouver authorities issued warrants for their arrest. The couple wanted for second degree murder investigators after they starved their 15 year old adopted son to death. Jenny Young spoke to police in California tonight. Uh, what did they tell you, Jenny? Jeff, I talked to uh, the Stockton, California Police Department. They say that Jesse and Felicia Franks showed up at the police department at 730 this morning and turned themselves in. And we've been out to their old neighborhood a couple of times uh, in the last few months and neighbors out there tell us that when this story broke back in April, the couple left their home and haven't been seen since. We talked to people out there today who say they hope carry on gets justice. It saddens me that happened, you know, down the street. This neighbor who didn't want to be identified told us about the first time he met carry on Franks. Skinny as bones. It was just sad because he's just like begging for water. He says it was a rare occasion. The 15 year old who authorities say was severely autistic and legally blind was sitting outside with some of the neighborhood kids and it was apparent carry on was very thirsty. Give him some water. And that's what I said. And the kids were like, no, we can't give him water. He'll pee his pants and then we'll get in trouble. And they said F that. And I came in the house, got a bottle of water, gave him a bottle of water. You know what I mean? The man says people in the neighborhood didn't find out until April. But according to law enforcement, carry on died last year, the day after Thanksgiving. The teenager weighed only 61 pounds. Court records say he was starved to death. Last Friday, the Clark County District Attorney announced charges against Carry On's adoptive parents, Jesse Franks and Felicia Adams Franks, charging the couple with homicide by abuse and second degree murder. Prosecutors say the two engaged in a pattern or practice of assault or torture of the teen and committed deliberate cruelty. They never let him out of the house. According to records, a CPS caseworker went to the home just six days before Carry On died. Okay, we told you back in April that Felicia Franks, according to court records, received $3,000 a month from the state of California to care for carry on. Now, those warrants for the couple out of Clark County, they were nationwide. So that means uh, that the county will pay to extradite them to Washington. No word yet uh, when they will be brought back here. We will continue to follow this as we have been. Jeff will send it back to you. Reporting live tonight in Vancouver, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.